This is your look at local sports from across the Hickory Metro. I'm Jason Savage for WHKY News. We start with baseball action last night. High school baseball from the Catawba Valley Athletic 2A Conference last night. Bandies defeats East Burke 7 to nothing. In the Northwestern 3A 4A Conference yesterday, Alexander Central edged out by Ash County 6 to 5. High school softball action last night in the Western Foothills Athletic 3A Conference. Fred T. Ford was a 13 to 1 winner over Hickory. And in the Northwestern 3A 4A Conference from yesterday, Alexander Central over Ash County 12 to 1. Non-conference matchups yesterday, a pair of those drawn falls to McDowell 10 to nothing and Freedom losing to Owen by the final of 2 to nothing. High school girls soccer action last night in the Western Highlands 1A 2A conference. Drawn and Owen go to a scoreless draw. The North Carolina School of Science and Math of Morganton defeats Avery County 2 to nothing. Moving over to the Catawba Valley Athletic 2A conference now in girls soccer action last night. Bandies blinking maiden by the final of 6 to nothing. Newton Conover winning over Bunker Hill by the final of 8 to nothing. Finally, in the Western Foothills Athletic 3A Conference last night, Hickory gets by Fred T. Ford by the final score of one to nothing. The Lenore Rhine softball team dropped a tough extra innings game in the first game of a doubleheader at Tusculum yesterday. Tusculum would score two runs in the bottom of the seventh inning to tie the game and then would walk it off in the eighth inning as Tusculum would win five to four in the first game of the doubleheader. However, LR would rebound, pounding out 17 hits in the nightcap for a 12-1 win. Bears are now 37 and 11 overall, 14 and six in the South Atlantic Conference. They'll go on the road Thursday to Emory and Henry. The South Atlantic Conference announced their Men's Lacrosse Players of the Week for games that were played during the 11th week of this 2024 season. And Lenore Rhines, Nate Ashley, was named the South Atlantic Conference Defensive Player of the Week. The senior from Bradenton, Florida, recorded multiple season highs this past week as the Bears would defeat Coker back on Saturday at home 14-4. He would add four ground balls and four caused turnovers in the win. Now, it's the third time in his career that he has won the award. He won it in back-to-back -back weeks last season. It's the third time this season that the Lenore Rhine Men's Lacrosse Program has had a South Atlantic Conference defensive Player of the Week award winner Victor Powell earned the honor on February 12th and on April 1st as well. Keeping with Lenore Ryan, Lenore Ryan head men's basketball coach Brent Owen officially announced the addition of four transfers to the roster for the 2024-2025 season. Three of the transfers are from Eastern New Mexico, Junior Hodnett, Jackson Coral, and Conrad Glazinski. Of course, that's where Coach Owen is from, is Eastern New Mexico. Also signing with the Bears from Calgary, Alberta, and Canada is Shim Sawy. Appalachia State women and men's track and field teams competed at the Duke Invitational over the weekend and after totaling an even 60 top 20 finishes, Mountaineers completed the weekend in Duke with graduate student Ashley Osaji leading the way. She's the App State women's outdoor long jump record holder. In the Duke Invitational, she clinched first place in the women's long jump, a leap of 6.31 meters or 20 feet, 8 and a half inches. Apple split for the Wake Forest Invitational on April 19th and Georgia Tech Invitational April 19th and 20th. As always, more details of all of these stories can be found by visiting our website, whky.com.